Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. So I have had these polishes in my drawer for so long. I am so embarrassed, I'm Ellie. So instead of trying to, um, you know, do what I normally do where I apply each polish on my four fake nails and show you that way, because there's like 10 polishes, I'm just gonna show you like one swatch, but obviously that's, I'll show you kind of like on all of my eight fingers and two thumbs. So this is how I'm going to be showing them and swatching them to you on these fake pop sticks and then I will, you know, put them onto my nails uh, so you can see them for, you know, swatching purposes. So these are the first ones that I'm going to be swatching. So it's kind of a mixture really for the thumbnail. It's actually going to be this from their Sun Play collection where it's not particularly a thermal. It's actually where if you go outside, the sun will change the color of the polish, which I think is super, super cool. So I've got two of those which I'll be showing you. Um, so they also do a gel base and no white top coat as well. So just quickly highlighting that to you in case that was something that you wanted to know. So you can see um, that these polishes, I think quite a lot of eye mail eye polishes, they go on quite sheer. So generally you're gonna need three coats minimum, possibly more. So what's on my thumbnail was the Sun Play one and these next four are from their sort of thermal glitter range. So when you look at it on the website, it kind of looks like it could be like turning white when it's a certain color, but actually these are clear. So if you just put these straight onto your natural nail, it would be a clear finish. But I mean, obviously this does have glitter in it. So you will see the glitter as well. And I don't particularly think the glitter changes color. It's just like this. It's almost like a jelly version of a polish. Like it's, I'd, I think if I'd, I'd put 10 layers on, it still wouldn't come across opaque. And that's obviously because when it dries, uh, sorry, when it's a certain color, it's obviously meant to go transparent. So you could have some fun with that with design ideas. So you can see it's slightly now, this is obviously where it's just come out of the lamp. So that's the color that it goes. So like I say, it goes clear, but you do get the glitter particles, which I do think is actually um, really cute. I don't know why with this one, the glitter is actually black. And yet with all of these others, the glitter is exactly the same color as the polish. I think I prefer the glitter being the exact same color as the polish. But obviously if you wanted something a bit more different and a bit more out there than that, um, first glitter polish will probably appeal to you. So I did go ahead and put three coats of this on. Uh, I just didn't record the third coat and this is me applying the no wipe top coat. And obviously I'll be curing that in the lamp as well. So here they are against my hand. So they are gorgeous colors, like I say. Um, if you didn't want it being completely clear underneath, maybe you could put these on top of a, um, you know, a coloured base. So it doesn't particularly go clear if that's not what you wanted. So this is it when it is warm. So you can see, like I say, it goes transparent, but you've just got the glitter. And then the, oh no, sorry, that was when, no, hang on, am I getting confused? No, sorry, this is when it's cold. <laughs> It's just because it took a time to change. So then you do get that, you know, full wowness of the, the colour showing through. So I'm just going to do half and half. I love thermal polishes, but reviewing them, oh, it's such a nightmare because the colour, it just changes so quickly. So trying to get photos of it, it's just a nightmare. So I'm going to try my best to put up pictures on Instagram and show you the different colour changes. But yeah, you're best trying to see it on here, really. So it's a bit more of a subtle change with the blue. It just goes slightly um, lighter. So you could have some cool like gradient effect as well if your sort of hand is different temperatures. You know, maybe the tips have gone cold or something like that. But I do love thermal polishes, like I say. They are... Uh, they're very eye-catching and I kind of like having the different colours. So, I mean, how gorgeous is that gradient where it's like warmer, so it's clearer at the top and then the colours at the bottom. It's like a gorgeous ombre. So, I do think these are super pretty polishes. So, this is the next batch that I'm going to do. So, 77, that's another one from the Sunplay collection. Then the next one is one that I'm going to swatch to you. This is the Cat Eye. So, obviously, you're going to need a magnet to get to bring out the cat eye with this. So you just want to apply it nice and thinly. I have already applied it over their um, black polish 
again and I just didn't show it on camera so that is how it looks when the cat eye is on it so it's like a nice um, green light green fleck of, or like an olive green which is really pretty this color is super super bright it's definitely a neon orange this is going to be perfect for summertime or maybe if you're going on a summer vacation and then these one is just like a gorgeous pinky color so other than the cat eye and the sun play these are just normal um, polishes so I do like the variety of polishes that I may Lee does provide it's not just like a plain color so you can definitely have some fun manis with the, with their polishes so this is what they look like next to my skin I know you some of you like to see it and not just see it on um, pop stick so I do try to show that in my videos like I say so have you got any favorites I'm intrigued to see how these look and how it changes in the sun so I'm going to go outside now so you can see um, it goes like a deeper colour so both of the polishes got a deeper colour in the sun and I just want to add as well like these changed instantly as soon as I went outside and actually it was quite an overcast day so it doesn't particularly need to be bright sunshine for it to change so you could definitely have fun with them if you're on your holidays. So here they are all together. Um, I think, that, like I say, they've got a gorgeous variety, a gorgeous collection. Um, but yeah, but I just, like I say, they're a bit more on the sheer side, so you do need to have a build-up of layers. So if you don't like putting a load of layers on them, maybe this isn't the brand for you. But thank you for watching anyway. Thank you, I'm Ailey, for sending me the products. And until next time, Jelly Babes, take care. Bye.